Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna be getting all the stuff restocked today. I'm gonna share my groceries, meal plan. We're going to be meal prepping today and we're also gonna be, we're at Starbucks. We're also gonna be throwing something in the crock pot for dinner tonight, something very easy for dinner tonight as well. But I wanted to share um, what I'm getting from Starbucks. It is so good. This has been my go-to over the last week or so. I can't stop coming in here and getting this drink. I saw this on TikTok. I don't even remember who shared it, but I remember screenshotting it and it is so good. So I'm gonna, um, let me, it's kind of a little bit of a longer order, but it's so yummy. So it is a venti iced coffee, no classic, light caramel drizzle, splash of vanilla sweet cream, three pump sugar-free vanilla, and one pump of the white mocha, white chocolate mocha syrup or whatever it's called what is it called yeah white chocolate mocha sauce it is so yummy and it's supposed to be only be like 100 calories which i have a hard time believing it's only 100 calories so it's so yummy it's supposed to only be like 100 calories which i have a hard time believing it's only 100 calories but that's what they say so i don't know so it is a little bit like definitely lower calorie than a lot of their drinks and it is so yummy it's definitely like my favorite drink right now to get all right this is what it looks like it's got a little bit of the caramel drizzle in it but it is seriously so so yummy if i got if sometimes if i get a grande i'll just um do a um only two pumps of the sugar-free vanilla but everything else the same but it is a really good drink we're home with all the groceries um, I'm gonna show y'all what my fridge looks like by now. It is Tuesday. I, I will say that I did go to Walmart yesterday and place like a very small order because I it takes a little bit of time to actually place a big grocery order. So I was like, I've got to get some stuff for the girls for today. So I did do that. Got a lunchable for them, some fruit, just a few things that I got on that order. And then I knew today I was going to place a bigger grocery order with everything. And I really wanted to film today and I wasn't up to filming yesterday. So my fridge, I am going to clean it out. It is to the point where it needs a big deep clean in, which I'm not going to do that today, but I need to make time for that. This is what it's looking like by Tuesday. Um, usually I do groceries on Monday. Um, there's lots of things that just needs to be cleaned out and like rearranged and kind of wiped down. Um, leftovers. This is Chick-fil-A mac and cheese from yesterday. Um, anyway, so I'm going to clean this out, um, really quickly and then get our groceries. I am going to also go through these. I don't go through these very often. I'm going to go ahead and go through that as well because a lot of that stuff could probably be gotten rid of, probably almost empty, out of date. So I'm going to do that as well. I've got my stuff laid out. I've got to hurry up and go through this so I can put some of this cold stuff away. Got my refrigerator cleaned out so much better than it was. I think I'm getting ready to go change. I am so hot in this. I'm going to go through all this and restock everything and then we're going to meal prep. Then we're also going to put dinner on for tonight. Tonight is ball. Is a, We have a ball game tonight and it's a little bit of a later game so I'm going to make it so that way we can eat before we leave. Um, usually we get dinner out when we have ball games. It just works out so much better to do that. 
but it's really nice when I do make a crock pot meal that is just ready to go when we get home or to eat before. So in this case, we're going to eat before and I'm going to have it ready. So it's a very easy meal and it's really good, especially because we've been having cold nights here. You can definitely tell fall is here now. Um, but for dinner tonight, I am going to be making that. And then, um, I wanted to share one non-grocery item. Let me share it real quick. Working from home with a toddler is not easy. <laughs> so he's like watching Delaney's tablet, trying to keep him busy while I do this. Okay. So these, I shared these over on Instagram last week. Um, I think Walmart's had them like over the past, I think they had them last year, but I got a um, oatmeal colored flannel. And so this time I got this on my grocery order. It's this like rust orange color. It's the like flannel, like ribbed material. I get a large, I would say I'm typically like medium. I guess some larges, uh, but I want it to be a little more oversized and it is so nice. I would say size up if you want it even bigger and longer with leggings size up I would say um but it's like $8.98 and they're so good I'm gonna leave the link below when I shared these on Instagram so many people bought these when I shared it and they're so great there's so many colors too I really love the oatmeal color so I got this one and I'm gonna probably grab a few more colors as well they'd be great for like layering too but I'm gonna leave a link for this below so I did get this on the order okay and then next I'm gonna go through everything so the other only non-grocery thing we got is deodorant for Ethan but yesterday, like I said, I did a very small order. The kids needed shampoo and conditioner. I got that on there and a couple other things. Um, okay, so then we got milk and milk for my coffees. Capri Suns for the kids. I got these mini dipped granola bars. I don't think I've ever bought the s'mores ones. I thought I'd try something different than the regular granola bars. I usually buy... I bought a few of these for myself. I know a lot of y'all shared that they, if you order them from the website or even sometimes Amazon has like discounts. I really need to do that. It's um, cause I eat one of those like almost every day I would say. Two things of goldfish, I actually got the big, big size one and then they didn't have that. So they substituted for two of those. And then we got some uh, applesauce pa pouches and then also this strawberry applesauce as well then we got a pack of apples usually I don't buy the packs a lot but these are so nice they're already like uh, cut up and then they're already made to where I can throw them in the lunchbox they're not gonna get brown so I got those and I'm I I'll be honest whenever we have them cut up like this which is about the same price as a bag of apples but whenever we cut them up like this I am more likely to eat them already cut up and ready to go I got some bananas we got some grapes and I got green beans we're gonna do some chicken and then the parmesan green beans that I don't know if y'all shared like that viral recipe of those those are so yummy then I got, we have chicken breast in the freezer, but I went ahead and grabbed some more. And then we're going to do soup tonight. I am making a soup recipe, so I grabbed those. And then some cream cheese, some turkey pepperoni. Grabbed a thing of um, sandwich meat. Ranch seasoning. And then I got these real bacon bits. Um, hazelnut. I always get the great value one versus the actual Nutella brand. It tastes the same. And my kids, if at least they think it tastes the same. And it's much cheaper. Uh, I got some salsa. I'm going to be actually meal prepping. This is for, we're going to do tacos one night this week. So I've already got the meat for that and the cheese dip for that. But um, we're going to use it for that. And then also my meal prep I'm doing. Um, chicken broth. I got a big thing and then I needed a small one for a recipe. Cream chicken soup. Got a few little Debbies. These are Ethan's favorite snacks is little Debbie cakes. So we got the fall ones. We got honey buns. And we also got oatmeal cream pies. Then we got these for taco night and a couple veggie straws. So we got a few Lunchables, especially we had ball a couple nights this week. And I always try to make the kids lunches the night before. But sometimes we get home late. We got to get the kids baths and showers. And it's just nice to have this ready to go and throw in lunch boxes and add a few things to it. So I grabbed more of those for that. Um, waffles, sausage biscuits. I got these for the recipe tonight. Um, I got a couple cheeses. I got one cinnamon roll. They were out. I guess they only had one in store. So they only gave me one. So I'll have to grab another one sometime. That's our Sunday um, morning thing. Taco seasoning, smoothies. We got some dinner rolls for chicken this week. Uh, we got a couple of these. I need to throw those in the freezer now. 
I got two of these. We've already opened one because Cal saw them and wanted some. Easy Mac. I got a few of these. Um, the chocolate chip. I always love these from Walmart. The chocolate chip. I get them like every time. These are Cal's favorite. And then I also got these as well. I don't hardly ever buy Pop-Tarts. It's just rare. Like every, like maybe once every couple months. But I thought it would be something to just throw in the pantry. Especially like I feel like by Monday, like we're out of so many things. And I'm always having to go out Sunday and grab things for the kids for their lunches the next day. So this could be like a snack to bring, a breakfast for that morning or something. And I think that's it. I'm going to restock everything so we can get to our meal prep and dinner tonight. Also, one more thing I did get. I did get some eggs. Uh, I've already dug into those this morning because um, I went ahead and ate my breakfast as soon as I got home from getting groceries. So I grabbed those. And then a couple things I did forget to get. I forgot to get more cottage cheese. I'm doing like hash brown cottage cheese bowls this week. And then I also meant to grab more hash browns. So that's a couple of things I'll have to run out and grab probably later. my video last week that I shared a meal prep these are that was with these containers I'm making something similar today with these these were just so easy last week and it simple especially when I have to get it done quickly with Cal so um, we're gonna try to get this done while he's occupied we're gonna be making salsa chicken bakes in these um, this is another recipe from what I shared last week stay fit mom Krista I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna be making so many of her recipes. I'm gonna be trying them out. This one just seems so easy. I actually had most of the ingredients here and I'm gonna make a couple adjustments to it. So hopefully it's still good. I think it'll be really good still. Um, so we're gonna get started with making that. Okay, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some chicken breasts. I have four. I'm making four days worth because that's all I need for this week. We're also gonna be doing, we need some salsa. This is a digestion I'm making. This is non-fat Greek yogurt. She used cream cheese, like one third less fat cream cheese. I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna make this to save the point. Chicken broth. We're gonna do jasmine rice, another adjustment. I do jasmine, she does 
basmati rice and then um, some cheddar cheese and then of course salt and pepper so to my bowl I'm gonna add two tablespoons of jasmine rice Next, in each one, I'm going to add a fourth a cup of chicken broth. I just have the less sodium one. And then I'm going to go ahead and add like a tablespoon of the Greek yogurt to them. And I may go ahead and add some of this on top of the chicken as well. Of course, if you're on Weight Watchers, this is zero points. I'm not being really super precise with it. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to each one. And then I'm gonna use this and go ahead and give all this a stir. chicken here. I'm going to salt and pepper these before I put them on top. Just a little bit. And I'm going to add this to the top of each one. And I'm going to add a little more, more Greek yogurt to the top of these. Kind of like she did in her video. You can find her recipes on um, her Instagram. And I think she might have a website too, but that's where I find them. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a good helping of salsa to each one on top of the chicken. This is the great value. I didn't realize I got the medium one. Usually I get mild, but I really like their salsas. Not great value, but from Walmart, the market side brand. The last thing I'm gonna do is take some fat-free cheddar. I'm gonna add about an ounce to the top of each one. Okay, so these are ready. Very easy, like minimal ingredients. They look like they're gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna put them in a 350 degree oven for, I can't remember. I want 40 minutes. Yes, I'm gonna put these in a 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes until we know the chicken's done and the rice is also cooked. Okay, my meal prep's got about 10 more minutes. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in dinner tonight. We're gonna make a crock pot potato soup. It's been so long since I've made potato soup, but it is soup season and I wanna make all the soups. Um, I made a recipe very similar to this. It's a little different. Um, I think I've actually shared it a couple times on here, but it's been a while since I made potato soup. So we're gonna try a new recipe that I saw somebody share over on Instagram. I can't even remember who shared it. I've got it saved. Um, it looks so easy and whenever she was making it and then she like finished it, it looked so good. Kelly Atkinson, she shares a lot of like ASMR things. Um, so I'm going to get started making this. We're going to need, I'll show you. We're going to need a, uh, a two pound bag of hash browns. I got these Southern hash browns, um, where they're not like, I think I in the past I've used shredded hash browns. We're going to use, not the whole bag of this, maybe like half the bag. Um, we're going to do a can of cream of chicken. Her recipe calls for two of these. I'm only gonna do one. I feel like two might be a little too much. A whole thing of chicken broth. We're gonna do about a cup of this cheese and then this whole thing of cream cheese. You want a bite? We're gonna make this for dinner. To our crock pot, we're gonna do the whole bag of shredded hash browns. That is potatoes. Hold on just a second. We're gonna do the whole thing of this chicken broth. This is a... 32 ounce uh, container of chicken broth. All right, we're gonna do the whole thing of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna add some pepper right here. All right, next we're gonna do the whole block of the cream cheese. Cal's gonna help me put, <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see him. He's trying to put uh, more chicken broth in. We've got it all in there. You getting the last drops? Hey, honey. Yeah, look. Let's put this in. Let's see if we can, all we gotta do is get it on top. I'll let you help me put something else. All right, the whole thing of cream cheese. 
All right, next we're gonna do some of this bacon. I'm gonna say about half of it. I don't like a lot of bacon in mine, so maybe about half of it. Ooh, All right, and then the last thing, I'm gonna add about a cup of the shredded cheese. All right, and that is it. Oh, wait a minute, the ranch seasoning. I do have to do the ranch packet. I'm gonna add that on top. All right, Cal's gonna put our lid on. Good job, let's, let's twist it. There we go. All right, we're gonna cook this, her recipe calls high for four hours. We are gonna do low for about six hours because it's gonna be a while before we actually eat it, so I'm just gonna let it cook on low for most of the day. All right, these are done. Uh, Y'all know with fat-free cheeses, some, it doesn't look like it's completely melted, but it'll be fine. Um, we're gonna give them a try. It took a little bit longer for mine because my chicken breasts were a little thicker probably than she used, um, but we're gonna give them a try and see what we think. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, what is it, buddy? Cut up my chicken. I think maybe next time what I'd probably do, I'm making sure it looks done on the inside. I think maybe next time what I'll probably do is cut up the chicken first versus put it in here whole. I wish I would have done that. I wasn't even thinking to do that. So, I, looking at it, I think it's going to need, I think it would need a little something to go with it, like sour cream or something. I really like using the non-fat Greek yogurt, plain non-fat Greek yogurt as sour cream. I can't tell much of a difference between the two. So, I did add a little bit of that in there. If you're on Weight Watchers, I don't know if I said this, but... If you're on Weight Watchers, this is four points. Um, so we're gonna give it a try. Kind of stirring it together like that. What are you doing? Y'all, y'all can see this boy behind this camera. Are you making a mess? He has the biggest smile on his face. Like, yes, I just made a mess. He had a smoothie and he's got it everywhere. So we're gonna give this a try. Get a little bit of the rice and the chicken, and then also some of the Greek yogurt. You want a bite? Mmm. That is better than I thought it would be. Looking at it, I'm like, it's probably pretty plain tasting. It's actually better than I thought it would be. Chicken's really good. Rice is good. You want a bite of rice? I just finished this. It is so good. Like, this was so filling and better than I actually expected. When I saw the recipe, I'm like, oh, it's probably okay. Like, it's fine for my lunches this week. It may not be, like, the most flavorful, but this was very good. I will definitely make this again, and I love how low in points it is and how filling it was. It was um, had a lot of protein in it with the chicken and then also the Greek yogurt, and... It was better than I expected. It was really good. I will say that the salsa I used, I'm going to do mild next time. It was pretty spicy with that salsa. Um, I would definitely recommend making that though. I mean, the adjustments yeah. I made was actually really good. So as far as Weight Watchers, because I know many of you also follow Weight Watchers and here for a lot of Weight Watcher content and meal prepping content and what I eat in the days and all the things with that. I have really been struggling lately and not been feeling good about myself and not been on point with my eating I feel like at all and I'll do good for breakfast lunch and then I snack too much eat not the best dinner are you wiping it for me he's wiping down the table for me but I will say that starting yesterday I am doing so much better recommitting to actually staying on track so if you've also been like that I'm here to give you some encouragement that let's start over let's get back on track and Get to feeling better about ourselves because I have not been feeling good about myself lately. So, anyway, staying on track, doing better this week. I might actually share um, maybe what I, another what I eat in a day video soon. I feel like it's been a few weeks since I've done that, but I thought I'd share that with y'all and maybe provide some encouragement if y'all have been on the struggle bus like I have. But, anyways, I thought I was going to end this out and then I remembered I'm not done with my dinner recipe. So, I'll pop back on in just a bit as we are finish up dinner and making our soup or finish up the rest of our soup. About halfway through, I took the lid off and went ahead and stirred all of this together. Um, this, I put it on low for six hours, but it probably more like five hours. You really don't need the whole six hours, but it was done just in time for our dinner. So, um, a little while later, I actually ended up just putting it on warm until we were ready to eat. 
if you're on Weight Watchers and wondering point wise. So I actually forgot to calculate the points before I threw everything away. So it was kind of hard to do that. I kind of briefly did, but I didn't finish it up. So I think it's around eight points per serving, but it also depends on how many servings you do. So I recommend if you're on Weight Watchers and want to know the points, put it in your recipe builder. So that way you can kind of put in your ingredients and no, but I think mine was around eight points, but it was delicious. Ethan complimented how good it was. So I definitely recommend trying it, but I hope y'all enjoyed coming along for my day and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.